Okay, this is raw data from two runs. The one on the right is with an older uh, grid that had slightly twisted rods with uh, carbon ends. The data on the left is from the grid I just made. I wrote this nice little piece of Perl software to let me uh, look at the data. Each dot represents one second. And you probably can't read it on the movie, but we have kilovolts down this axis, milliamps up this axis, and neutrons per minute counted, which uh, roughly a thousand neutrons per minute counted is a million neutrons per second generated. The, the uh, detectors have crappy uh, quantum efficiency. Uh, this stuff along the lower right in both cases is almost certainly things like cosmic rays hitting my ne neutron detectors while the power was off. I did not edit these logs. This is pure raw data unedited. Okay, and so that's interesting. And obviously, we put in the most power, we get the most neutrons in both cases. But that's not the whole story. For those kids who think everything will get better if you turn it up to 11, let's look at Qplot, which is the exact same data, only it's divided by the power input. Let's do that on this one too. And what we see, okay, with the new grid we were running a little bit lower pressure too, just for what it's worth. Let's get these turned around about the same way. So this corner up here, sort of on the left, is the highest power input, and it's where most people run their fusers. You'll notice the Q is practically zero, okay? This is well known. This crap is probably outliers from cosmic rays. Uh, same on this plot with the older grid. And this point up here is probably an outlier, which forces things to auto-scale down, but you will see if you go across here, this is a, a arbitrary numbers. This is an actual power out per power in. This is neutrons per minute per watt. But here it's 600. Here we hit 350 with the new grid while we were breaking it in. <laughs> and everywhere else it's zero. You know, now, uh, so turning it up to 11, yeah, it gets you more neutrons, but it doesn't get you more Q. And that's the message I'm just trying to uh, get across with this. And I've written this rather cool Perl program that uh, knows how to read my log files and let you actually type in Perl to map the various things my data acquisition system gets um, and, you know, type in the labels and whatnot uh, with some presets to, um, so you don't have to do it over and over. And then you feed it to GNU plot and you can do whatever you want to with it, which is kind of fun. Um, so that's it. Uh, the message is run at low current, get on the edge of stability. That's where your Q is because you get less defocusing of your beams in your grid due to space charge.